Good evening, Sydney. A certain birdie told me you had hoped I could be there to present tonight. Unfortunately, space and time prevent that. So this is me doing my best, just like you taught me as a young cubby. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and guests, dignitaries of Tecumseh Council, thank you for the opportunity to share remarks with you this evening. Many of you do not know me, but I had the great fortune of being a participant in Sydney's Wood Badge Buffalo Patrol this past year. Three of my best friends from Jamboree, Bravo Medical, Jennifer Lutz, Matthew Kuntz, and Hunter Marks encouraged me to attend Jennifer's course, and I was promised that my troop guide would be the best. I didn't realize how right they would be. One thing that impressed me when I arrived at Wood Badge is the caliber of scouters in Tecumseh Council. Y'all are some of the best in the world. Everyone I've met there is dedicated to the aims and methods of scouting. You are knowledgeable, helpful, friendly. By association, you lift me to a higher level. To stand out in this group is no easy feat, but Sydney does. You can easily read her extensive scouting resume, and you'll likely be more familiar with her than I am. But allow me an allegory. When our den or patrol came together, we click quickly fell together as a performing unit, and we stayed there throughout, which made for a very powerful learning opportunity. It was not only world class, but it was life changing for me. As I look at the personalities of those in my patrol, I realize that there are people I wouldn't necessarily seek out to be friends with. And so that success can only be attributed to Sydney. It struck me during the course, that as I was completing it, that I was taking on the yoke of responsibility of representing the ideals of scouting, not just to scouts, but to all scouters who would now look up to me. I was now the example they should be following. At first, this was very overwhelming, but I paused and realized that I was being appropriately equipped. As I move forward in my scouting career and in my life, I know I have the example of my troop guide to follow. As I look back at the scouters I've known in the last three decades or so of scouting, there's easy to see a correlation between those wooden beads and a little blue and white knot. I was shocked as I studied Sydney's uniform and realized she didn't have one of those blue and white knots. But tonight we changed that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me on behalf of Matthew, Hunter, Jenny, scouts and scouters everywhere. We offer a very warm congratulations to my troop guide, Ms. Sydney Palomino.